from the lake to the trees. My heart was to sigh like a chime that flies from a church on a breeze. To laugh like a brook when it trips and falls over stones in its way. <laughs> to see like a lark who is learning to pray. I go to the hills when my heart is lonely. I know I will hear what I've heard before. My heart will be blessed with the sound of postulants, 16 or 17 are ready to enter the novitiate. Let's consider the doubtful ones again. There's Ermagard. Uh, Reverend Mother, there's no doubt about Ermagard. The religious life is no place for the pious. Oh, <laughs> you mean the pretentiously pious, Sister Beata. There's Christina. Mm. And there's Maria. Well, after last night, I don't think there can be any doubt in Reverend Mother's mind about Maria. I gave her permission to leave the Abbey for the day. I told you, Sister Berta. Reverend Mother, I brought Maria. She's waiting. Sister Sophia, the mistress of the postulants and mistress of the novices, don't see eye to eye about Maria. How do you feel about her? I love her very dearly, but she always seems to be in trouble, doesn't she? Exactly what I say! She climbs a tree, scrapes her knee, her dress has got a tear. She waltzes on the way to mass and whistles on the stair. And underneath the window she has colors in her hair. I've even heard her singing in the abbey. She's always late for chapel. But her penitence is real. She's always late for everything, except for every meal. I hate to have to say, but I very firmly feel Maria's not an answer to the Abbey. I'd like to say a word in her behalf. Well, then say it, Sister Margareta. Maria makes me laugh. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? How do you find a word that means Maria? A flippity gibbet? A will o' the wisp cloud? Many a thing you know you'd like to tell her. Many a thing she ought to understand. But how do you make her stay and listen to all you say? How do you keep a wave upon the sand? Oh, how do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you find a word? 
word that means Maria. A flivet and gibbet. A will of the winds. A clown. Many a thing you know you'd like to tell her. Many a thing she ought to understand. But how do you make her stay? Listen to all you say. How do you keep away upon the sand? Oh, how do you solve a problem like Maria? Talk to you. Yes, Reverend Mother, about last night. I was on my knees most of the night because I was late, and after you'd been so kind in giving me permission to leave, I could... Maria, it wasn't about your being late. But I must have awakened half the abbey before Sister Margareta heard me and opened the gate. A very few of us were asleep. We could only think you had lost your way. And to be lost at night on that mountain. Oh, but I couldn't be lost on that mountain. That's my mountain. I was brought up on it. That mountain that, well, that brought me to you. Oh. When I was a little girl, I used to come down the mountain, <coughs> climb a tree, and look over into your garden. I would see the sisters at work and, and hear them singing on the way to Vespers. Many times I went back up that mountain singing all the way. <coughs> <coughs> Which brings me to another transgression. I was singing yesterday and I was singing without your permission. Oh, Maria, it's only here in the Abbey there's a rule about singing. Oh, and that's the hardest rule of all for me. Sister Margareta is always reminding me that too late I've already started singing. Like the day you were singing in the garden, at the top of your voice. Oh, but Mother, it's that kind of song. Maria. In spite of what you saw over the abbey wall, you weren't prepared for the way we live, were you? No, Mother. But I pray, and I try. Tell me, Maria, what is the most important lesson you've learned here? To find out what is the will of God, and to do it. Even if it is hard to accept. Even then. Maria, the dress you wore when you first came to us, is it still in the robing room? Oh, no, Mother, I'm sure it isn't. Sister Margaret says that when we enter the abbey, all of our... Reverend Mother, why do you ask? Maria, it seems to be the will of God that you leave us. Leave? Leave here? Oh, no, Mother, please, no, I... It's for a short oh, while no, no, only. don't send me away, Mother. This is what I want. This is my life. But are you ready for it? Perhaps if you go out into the world again for a time, you'll return to us knowing what we expect of you and that we do expect it. I know what you expect, Mother, and I'll do it, I promise. Maria. It is God's will. Where am I to go? There is a family. A family of seven children. You like children. You're very good with them. They need a governess until September. Until September? Captain Von Trapp is expecting you this afternoon. 
He's a fine man and a brave one. He was given a medal by the emperor for heroism in the Adriatic. A captain in the Navy? Oh, brother, he'll be very strict. <laughs> You're not being sent to his battleship.
Yes, sir? I was calling the housekeeper and she didn't answer. Do you know why? Sometimes she doesn't hear, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was answering the telephone. Good day, sir. We're happy to have you home. So why did the last governess leave? Uh, who knows? She just said, I've had enough of this and walked out. Why? Was Louisa playing some of her tricks again, putting toads in her bed? She didn't complain of that, sir. Well, there's another one coming today, and this one can't walk out. Oh? She's coming from Nunberg Abbey with orders to stay until September. Well, I hope you'll be home for a time, sir. Just until tomorrow. The telephone, was it for me? No, sir, it was for Franz. Before you arrived, there was a phone call from Vienna of Frau Schrader. I have the number in the pantry. No, I know the number. Oh, and I shall return in about a month with some guests. Yes, sir. Do you know how many, sir? Just two. Herr Detweiler. Herr Detweiler and Frau Schrader. Who wanted me a telegram? It was the post office. They've got a telegram for you. Be delivered at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? That gives me five hours to be nervous. <laughs> but that scatterbrained boy delivering telegrams. Well, that's one thing people are saying. If the Germans did take over Austria, we'd have efficiency. Franz, don't say that. He never used to whistle for us when his wife was alive. He's being the captain of a ship again. I can't bear being whistled for. It's humiliating. In the Imperial Navy, the bosun always whistled for. Yes, but I wasn't in the Imperial Navy. <laughs> Too bad. You could have made a fortune. Captain Von Trapp. You are Fräulein... Maria. Maria Reiner. Now then, Fräulein. As to your duties here, do you mind stepping over here, please? Now, for the children meet you, you will put on another dress. I haven't another dress. When we enter the Abbey, all of our worldly clothes are given to the poor. What about this one? The poor didn't want this one. <laughs> this is what you would call a worldly dress? Well, it belonged to our last postulant. I would have made myself a new dress, but I wasn't given time. I can make my own clothes. Good. I'll see that you are given some material. Today, if possible. Now, you will be in charge of my children. There are seven of them. You will see how far they have progressed in their studies and carry on from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom. Each afternoon, they march. You will see that at all times, they conduct themselves with decorum and orderliness. The first rule in this house is discipline.
Now, children, this is your new Fräulein, Fräulein Maria. As I sound your signal, you will step forward and state your name. You, Fräulein, will listen and learn their signal so you can call them when you want. See how well you listen. Uh, I won't have to whistle for them, Reverend Captain. Um, <clears throat> what I meant is, I will be with them all the time. Not on all occasions. This is a large house, a very large estate. They have been taught to come only when they hear their signal. <coughs> when I want you, this is what you'll hear. Uh, you won't have to troubles, sir. I couldn't answer to a whistle. That's nonsense. Everyone in this house answers to a whistle. Here. I'll show you. Yes, sir? This is my orderly, my butler, the new governess. Yes, sir? This is the executive officer, my housekeeper, Frau Schmidt. Fräulein Maria, please see that her room is ready. Yes, sir. Well, I shall now leave you with the children. You are in command. to return this whistle, Captain. I won't be needing it. Now that it is just us, will you tell me your names again and how old you are? I'm Liesel, I'm 16 years old, and I don't need a governess. Well, I I'm glad you told me. We'll just be good friends. I'm Friedrich, I'm 14 years old, and I'm a boy. <laughs> a boy? You're practically a man. I'm Brigitte. You didn't tell me how old you are, Louisa. No, I'm Brigitte and she's Louisa. She's 13 years old. I'm nine. And you're smart. And that's the ugliest dress I ever saw. <laughs> Brigitte, you mustn't say a thing like that. Why not? Don't you think it's ugly? If I did think so, I wouldn't say so. I'm Kurt, and I'm 11. Almost. That's a nice age to be. 11. Almost. I'm Marta, and I'll be seven on Tuesday, and I would like a pink parasol, please. Oh, oh pink is my favorite color, too. <laughs> and you're Gretel. I'm going to tell you something. I've never been a governess before. How do I start? You mean... You don't know anything about being a governess. No. Well, the first thing you do is tell father to mind his own business. No, Louisa, don't. I like it. What's in here? <laughs> oh, my guitar. What did you bring this for? For when we all sing together. We don't sing. <laughs> of course you sing. Everybody sings. What songs do you know? We don't know any songs. You don't? No. no. Hmm. Well, now I know where to start. 
I'm going to teach you how to sing. Let's see. Well, um, let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you read, you begin with A, B, C. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. The first three notes just happen to be Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti. Let's see if I can make it easier. Come. Come on! Listen. Do, a deer, a female deer. Re, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Fa, a long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread. La, a note to follow so. Tea, a drink with German bread that will bring us back to do. Oh, oh, oh. Do. A deer, a female deer. Ray. A drop of golden sun. Me. A name I call myself. Ha. A long, long way to run. So, a needle pulling thread. La, a note to follow so. Tea, a drink with German bread.
Fräulein Maria. Fräulein Maria, it's Frau Schmidt. The captain is leaving for Vienna tomorrow, and I have this material he ordered for a new dress for you. Oh, how nice. <coughs> Even before it's made, this is the prettiest dress I have ever had. <laughs> I hope the captain will like it, because I want to ask him for more material. More? Oh, no, not for me. For the children. For play clothes. <laughs> Von Trapp children never play. The captain doesn't like them to get dirty. But they're children. They have to climb trees, roll on grass, think of all the rocks and caves there are around. This is the best exercise, marching. But the children will continue to march. I hope to find your room comfortable. Yes, thank you. But there'll be new curtains hung in the window in the alcove. They'll be hung tomorrow. But these curtains are very good. No, there'll be new curtains. Um. Uh, will the captain be away long? I don't know. Of course, he always has to come home every time he hires a new governess. I, I sometimes think the children get rid of their governesses just so they can see their father. Well, he must want to see them too. Ever since his wife died, they remind him too much of her. And you can get rid of this. We won't be using it. Why not? The captain won't have music here. He won't have music. He used to love music. He used to have lovely evenings here. His wife used to sing. He used to play the violin and the guitar. Now he shut all that out of his life. So that's why he is the way he is. But to not have music, that's wrong for him and wrong for the children, too. It'll work out. The captain may marry again before the summer's over. Oh, that'll change everything. The children will have a mother again. It's going to storm. You better close your window. Dear God, I know now that you have sent me here on a mission. I must help these children to love their new mother and to prepare them to win her love so that she will never want them to leave her. And I pray that this will be a happy family in thy sight. God bless the captain. God bless the weasel, Friedrich, Risa. Brigitte, Marta, and little Greta. And, um, oh, get the name of the other boy. What's his name? Oh, well, God bless what's his name. God bless the Reverend Mother, Sister Margareta, and everyone at Nonberg Abbey. And now, dear God of our Lisa, Help her to know that I am her friend. And help her to tell me what she's been up to. Are you going to tell on me? Help me to be understanding so that I may guide her footsteps. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen. I was out taking a walk and somebody locked the doors earlier than usual. I didn't want to wake everyone up and when I saw your window was open, you're not going to tell father on me, are you? Did you climb that trellis to get up here? That's the way we always got into this room to play tricks on the government. <coughs> Louisa can climb up with a toad in her hand. Oh, rip it. 
Liesl, were you out walking all by yourself? You know, if we wash this dress out tonight, no one will notice it tomorrow. And then all of this will just be between you and me. Here, put this on, take your dress in there and put it to soak in the bathtub. Then come back here, sit on the bed, and, and we'll have a talk. that I didn't need a governess. Well, maybe I do.
singers for the Kultzberg Festival, but you like it here? Well, we'd have to spend some time in Vienna. I have Heinrich's estates to look at. I thought that was a corporation, huh? It is, and I'm president. <laughs> yes, you, president of a corporation. Well, after all, I managed Heinrich's affairs for years before he died. <clears throat> I can't see you sitting behind a desk. Of course, I wear a business suit and smoke a big cigar. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain. Herr Deathweiler would like his coffee. While he's telephoning? He just got it. Oh, yes. I'm sorry I took so long. Any luck? How would you like this for the Kaltberg Festival? The finest choral group in Austria. The greatest mixed quartet in all Europe. Best soprano in the world. Well, Max, that's something I'd love to hear. So would I. <laughs> All I've got up to now is a, a basso who isn't even profundo. Max, you always <laughs> come up with a good festival concert. And why? Because my motto is never start off looking for the people you wind up getting. That's why I've been telephoning Paris, Rome, Stockholm. On um, Georg's telephone. How else could I afford it? Why am I up here? I hoped it was because you liked me. Of course I like you. Why shouldn't I like you? You live like a king. You have an excellent wine cellar. Max! I like rich people. I like the way they live. I like the way I live when I'm with them. <laughs> Speaking as a government official, but... Georg. Uh, is there a cathedral around here? Oh, that's our abbey, the Nonberg Abbey. Do they have a choir? A beautiful one. Good. In the next few days, I have to visit all these towns around here and listen to Zangerbund's choirs, quartets. You will be here for meals, won't you? 
Oh, yes. It was in a, a town just about that size, Waltzman, where I discovered the St. Ignatius Boys Choir. In 1930, they won the festival, became very famous, toured all over the world. Oh, yes, whatever became of them. By the time their voices changed, they were rich enough to live in America. <laughs> Who lives in that dilapidated castle down there, rumple stilt skin? Uh, Baron Elderfeld, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet all of your friends. Georg, why not give a dinner for me while I'm here? Hmm? Nothing very much, just something lavish. <laughs> I wouldn't know whom to invite. Difficult today to tell who is a friend and who is an enemy. Well, this isn't a good time to make enemies. Let's make some friends. I can't understand what's happened to the children. You're not worried about them, are you? They should have been here to greet you. Oh, well, it couldn't have been an intentional slight because they haven't met me yet. <laughs> Forgive me. I will try to find them. Elsa, have you made up Georg's mind yet? Is he going to marry you? Ah, oh, yes. Hmm. He hasn't admitted it yet, though. There seems to be something standing in his way. You don't know what it is. No. I do. What? It's very simple. It's money. Money? Yes. He's rich and you're rich. In all the famous love affairs, the lovers have to struggle. In garret rooms of Webster's, the lovers starve and snuggle. Their famous form is fortune, which they seem to have no fear of. While lovers who are very rich, you very seldom hear of. There's no sign of them anywhere. No little shack do you share with me. We do not flee from a mortgagee. How can love survive? You're fond of bonds and you own a lot. I have a plane and a diesel yacht. Plenty of nothing you haven't got. How, How can, can love, love survive? survive? No rights for us on the top of the bus in the face of the freezing breezes. You reach your goals in your comfy old rolls or in one of your Mercedeses. Get out! Bill, he's just a boy. 
I am an Austrian. I will not be hired. Georg, why can't you look at things the way I do? Georg, what's going to happen is going to happen. Just to be sure it doesn't happen to you. Max, it's a good thing you haven't any character. Because <laughs> if you had, I'm convinced I'd hate you. You couldn't hate me. I'm too lovable. <laughs> Herr Detweb, there's a call for you. It's from the... Ah, I'll take it uh, inside. Cleaned up, change into your uniforms and report back here. Once. seen my children wearing old curtains. Oh, yes. They've become very popular. Everyone smiles at them. Ah, I don't wonder. They say, there go Captain Von Trapp's children. My children have always been a credit to my name. Captain, they weren't. They were just unhappy little marching machines. I don't care to hear from you about my children. Well, you must hear from someone. You're not home long enough to know them. I said, I don't care to hear. I know you, you don't, but you've got to. Take Liesel. Liesel isn't a child anymore, and if you keep treating her like one, Captain, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. And Friedrich, he's afraid to be himself. He's shy, he's aloof. He needs you, he needs your confidence. Don't but tell me about my son! Brigitte could tell you about him. She could tell you a whole lot more if you got to know her because she notices things and she always tells the truth, especially when you don't want to hear it. And Kurt, he's sensitive, he's easily hurt, and you ignore him. You brush him aside the way you do all of them. I haven't finished yet! <laughs> Louisa, she wants to have a good time. You just have to let her have a good time. And Marta, I don't know about yet, but Someone needs to find out about her. And Gretel, she just wants to be loved. Oh, love, Gretel, Captain, love them all. Stop, they stop it! Her. You will pack your things and return to the Abbey at once. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I, I shouldn't have said those things. Not, not the way that I said them. Um, After you're gone, then What is that? Singing? Who's singing? Your children. My children? Are singing? I wanted them to sing for Frau Schrader when they met her. It is not. Georg! You 
Think of us. I'll pray for you. speaking to the other half. Well, Father, maybe they're having a nice time not speaking to one another. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Rosh Vader, ask me to let you know she will be joining you in a few minutes. Good. Thank you. Uh, you might see where's, your, where's this glass of brandy.
I don't remember anymore. Well, Kurt, that's how you do it. Your face is all red. Oh, oh. I must not be used to dancing. Well, hello there. Good evening, Frau Schrader. I hope you're feeling better, Frau Schroeder. <laughs> yes, thank you, Kurt. And it's Schrader. Hello, Uncle Max. Oh. We are having a party. Good. Tell your father it's sure to be a success. I'm here. Oh, Max. <laughs> oh, Elsa. Without a doubt, you are the most beautiful corporation president in the entire world. Thank you, Max. <laughs> oh, Max, you're back. And, as usual, just in time for dinner. <laughs> Georg, you think you could give a gala without me? <laughs> oh, dear. Now we have not been. A little odd, but charming. Please, run and ask Frau Schmitz at two places, and I want to see Fräulein Marie. Two places? Yes, we need another woman. Well, who, Liesel? <laughs> oh, no, I'll ask Marie. You're not serious. But of course. She's a, a nursemaid. Max, I don't think of her that way. I don't mind, but your friends, you can't ask them to dine with Maria. Why not? Elsa, tell him why not. Max, can you change in a hurry? Yes, Max, we can use you tonight. Frau Schrader, they're talking about you out there. Von Georg, I've been dodging these people for a Have you seen your father? I knew it all along. Frau Schrader did have a headache. She wanted to get out of the park. She was faking. Brigitte, you shouldn't say things you don't know are true. <coughs> but I do know. I heard her say to father she'd been dodging these people. Well, that doesn't mean she didn't have a headache. It's very important that your children like Frau Schrader. I like her, all right. Why is it important? I think she's going to be your new mother. Oh, Fräulein, father's never going to marry her. Why? He couldn't. And why couldn't he? Because he's in love with you. <laughs> now, Brigitte, that's just the sort of thing but I was you telling must you. Know that you. No. Remember the other night when we were all sitting on the floor singing that Edelweiss song you taught us? After we finished, you laughed at him for forgetting the words. He didn't forget the words. He just stopped singing to look at you. And when he speaks to you, the way his voice sounds. Brigitte, and the way you, no! And the way you looked at him just now, when you were dancing, you're in love with him. Oh, my Gretel. One more dance, but then it's bed. Oh, Maria. You won't be dining with the children tonight, you'll be dining with us. Oh, um... Oh? Yes, it's all arranged. But you'll have to hurry, you'll have to change. Oh, Maria, wear that dress you wore the other night when we were all singing together. It was lovely, soft, white. <laughs> Shall I announce dinner, Captain? Oh, no, not yet. The children would want to say goodnight. Georg, I want the children to say goodnight the way they did last night. No, Elsa, not here. Please, Georg, the way they did it for me was so strange. No! Elsa, not in front of the strangers. <coughs> Please, Georg, for me. The rest don't change your... Oh, Max, you're just in time. Children, now. Adieu, adieu. 
Andrew, yeah, Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> so long, farewell, au revoir, I'll be Jersey. I'd like to stay and taste my first champagne. No? No. <laughs> so long, farewell, I'll be to say goodbye. I leave and heave a sigh and say goodbye. Goodbye.
you, Sister Sophia. Maria has asked to see you. No, it has taken her some time. I waited until she wanted to come to me. It's strange. She's happy to be here, but she's unhappy too. Why did they send her <coughs> Do you know? She doesn't speak. She hasn't spoken except in prayer. I shall see her. Maria. <coughs> this must have been a trying experience for you. It was, but not. Has it taught you anything? <coughs> I learned I. I want to leave these walls again. Why did they send you back to us? They didn't send me back. I left. I left without telling them that, that I was going, without saying goodbye. Maria. Why did you do this? I was frightened. Frightened? I was confused. I felt... I'd never felt that way before. I couldn't stay. And I knew that here I would, I would be away from it. That here I would be safe. Maria. Our Abbey cannot be used as an escape. What is it you can't face? I can't face him again. Thank you, Sister Margareta. Maria, are you in love? With Captain Von Trapp? I don't know. I don't know. Tell me about it, my child. Brigitte said that I was, and that her father was in love with me, and, and then there he was, and, and we were looking at each other, and, and I could hardly breathe. Then I, I knew I, I couldn't stay. But you do like him? Did you let him see how you felt? If I did, I didn't know that I did. That's what's been torturing me. I was there on God's errand to ask for the captain's love. Well, it would have been wrong. Oh, I don't know, Mother. I do know this. I am ready at this very moment to take my vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. Maria. The love of a man and a woman is only two. The first time we talked together, you told me you remember your father and mother before they died. Do you remember? Were they happy? <coughs> Maria, you were born of their happiness, of their love. And my child, you have a great capacity to love. What you must find out is, how does God want you to spend your love? I pledge my life to God's service. I pledge my life to God. My daughter, if you love this man, it doesn't mean you love God less. You must find out. You must go back. Oh, Lord, please don't make me do that. These, these walls were not made to shut out problems. You have to face them. You have 
to find the life you were born to live. How do I find it? You look for it.
<laughs> they, they wanted to sing for me, the darlings. They don't sing as well as they used to. We need Fräulein Maria. We do not need Fräulein Maria. You can sing just as well with me. I've had experience with choirs, quartets, glee clubs. Please. Children, what are you going to sing? Oh, a dear. Of, we are not to mention Fräulein Maria. I go back, so I feel like a brisk walk. That's just what I need. Is anyone using the car? <laughs> well, what would you like to sing? Are you sure? Oh yes, he just told us. He 
told us himself. We found it. whatsoever, without even saying goodbye. Yes, it was, it was very wrong of me. Forgive me. Why did you do this to us? Tell me. Please don't ask. Anyway, the, the reason no longer exists. So you back to stay. <coughs> Only until arrangements can be made for another governess. Oh, no. Children have missed you. I've missed you. Everyone has missed you. Nothing was the same while you were gone. Everything was wrong. But, but I... But we can talk about that. You go be with the children. Maria, new dress? We have a new postulant. <laughs> I know I'm right. Please, we'll find an answer. I think it worked for Elsa. Here, we'll settle this for Max and me, will you? How far down the mountain does your property go? Can you make out that stone wall? That's the property line. You see. I didn't argue about it. I know. It makes me furious. I don't like to win without a fight. <laughs> I heard that well. While you were gone, you had a long distance call from Berlin. Who could be calling me from Berlin? Uh, they said you would know who it was. Oh, thank you, Franz. Georg, what we were just talking about. Max, this isn't the first phone call you've had from Berlin. Georg. You know I have no political convictions. Can I help it if other people have? Let's not stir all that up again. Germany has promised not to invade Austria. Max knows that. Then why does Max insist on taking these calls from Berlin? Because if they don't keep their promise, I want to have some friends among them. Oh, naturally. So you agree. Georg. This is the way I go. There was a man who was dying. They were giving him the last rites. They asked him, do you renounce the devil and all his works? And he said, at this moment, I prefer not to make any enemies. <laughs> you know, if they should invade us, would you defy them? Yes. Do you realize what might happen to you? To, to your property? To your children? To everyone close to you, to Elsa, to me. Well, what will you do if they come? What anyone with any sense would do. Just sit tight and wait for it all to blow over. And you think it will? One thing is sure. Nothing you can do will make any difference. Don't look so serious, darling. Come, take the world off your shoulders. Relax. You dear attractive dewy-eyed idealist. Today you have to learn to be a realist. You may be bent on doing deeds of daring do, but up against a shark, what can a herring do? Be wise, compromise. Compromise and be wise. Let them think you're on their side, be no committal. I will not bow my head to the men I despise. You won't have to bow your head, just stoop a little. <laughs> Why not learn to put your faith and your reliance on an obvious and simple fact of science? A crazy planet full of crazy people is somersaulting all around the sky, and every time it turns another Another day goes by, and there's no way to stop it. No, there's no way to stop it. No, you can't stop it, even if you try. So I'm not going to worry. No, I'm not going to. 
back and circle round the sun. And when we circle back to where we started from, another year has run. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it. If the earth wants to roll around the sun, you're a fool if you worry, you're a fool if you worry, or oh, anything but little number one. That's you. That's I. And I. And me. That all absorbing character. That fascinating creature. That super special feature. Me. So every star and every whirling planet. Every constellation in the sky revolves around the center of the universe, a lovely thing called I. And there's no way to stop it, no, there's no way to stop it, and I know, though I cannot tell you why. That as long as the living, just as long as the living, there'll be nothing else that's wonderful as I. I, 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 nothing else is wonderful. you're willing to see things their way. There is one thing you do better here than we do in Vienna. Your sunsets. I'm going to miss them. wondering if they could take a holiday from their lessons tomorrow so we could go on a picnic. Yes, I don't mind. Thank you, that will make them very happy. And may I be permitted to wish you happiness, Frau Schrader, Captain? The children tell me you're going to be married. Oh, I'm afraid the children were wrong. Georg, I've got to finish my packing if I'm going to be back to Vienna. If you feel you must. I'll tell Franz to ready the car. No, I can do that. Are you just saying anything? I'm sorry if I said something I shouldn't have said. You did say the wrong thing. But at the right time. The children told me that you were going to marry Frau Schwarzenegger. We found we just couldn't go the same way. Oh. 
I look at you now, and I realize that this isn't something that just happened. This is something I have known deep, deep inside me for several weeks now. You knew it too? When you were a little girl, did a little boy ever <coughs> kiss you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Maria? Huh? Oh, Maria, your whole world oh. is going to be different now. I will, I will take you anywhere you want to go. I will give you Thank you. 
really ought to get those two together sometime. Who? The mother abbess and Brigitte. For he was standing there loving me, whether or not you should. I must have done Someone I should go to. To ask permission to marry me. Well, why don't we ask the children? Don't be vain, my daughter. Let me say it for you. You are indeed beautiful, my dear.
Children! Children! Lisa! Uh, uh, Friedrich! Uh, Gretel! Kurt! Mark! Ha ha ha! See, see, Colt's Bird Festival 1938. Uh, look here. The Vaughn family singers. And here are all of your names. Lisa, Friedrich, Louisa, Kurt, Regina, Marta, and Gretel. Why am I always last? Because you're the youngest. Lisa, I'm depending on you. Day after tomorrow, you must all be ready at 11 o'clock in the morning. And Where's the Well, thanks. The gun library is here. He wants to know why we're not flying the new flag. Hi! I tried to explain. Keep quiet. Is Captain Von Trapp returning? <laughs> Who knows? Well, a man is on his honeymoon. These are times for joking. It has been four days since the Anschluss, and this is the only house in the entire province not flying the flag of the Third Reich. You mean the flag with the black spider on it? Uh, do you permit such remarks in this household? And who are you? I am Maximilian Detweiler, First Secretary of the Ministry of Education and Culture. That was in the old regime. In the old regime, I was third secretary. Now I'm first secretary. Oh, my God. Then you would order them to fly that flag. The captain wouldn't. I mean, I can take my orders only from Captain Von Trapp. You will take your orders from us. And so will the captain. Hi! Hi, Why is it so cross? Everybody's cross these days. Is Father Lord to be in trouble? He doesn't have to be. The thing to do today is to get along with everybody. Now, uh, um, Lisa, be sure you get all the children on the bus at 11 o'clock. Are you sure Father's going to be all right with this? He'll be pleased and proud. Lisa, do you think so? Regina, don't you trust me? No. Well, anyway, the bus leaves at 11 o'clock. My Kleine Schmetterlingen, look what I've got. Oh, it's Father's luggage. They're back. Oh, they're oh, back. Lisa, 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 they'll have such a lot to tell us. Let's not hurry about telling them anything. <laughs> Max! A Georg! <laughs> we didn't expect you back until next week. Max, I'm glad you're here. There's much I want to know. Children, we missed you so much. What do you miss the most? We missed all the noise you make in the morning. That noise you make in trying to keep quiet. <laughs> and we missed climbing the stairs to say goodnight to you. And we missed hearing you sing. You came back just in time to hear us sing. Look, Father, we're going to be singing at the Kultsberg Festival Friday night. Let me see this. Max, hmm. you responsible for this? I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You can't talk your way out of this one, Max. Uh, presents! Oh, Georg! I had to make a last minute decision. I was very fortunate to be able to enter them at all. They'll be the talk of the festival. Seven children in one family. Not my family. Uh, the committee heard them. They were enchanted. Oh, really, Max? What did they say? You never heard such praise. Oh, did you hear that, Gail? You know? Von Trapp family does not sing in public. But if it makes people happy. And for the festival, people come from all over the world. It is out of the question. Georg, it's for Austria. There is no more Austria. But, but the, the Anschluss happened peacefully. Let's at least be grateful for that. Grateful. Grateful to these swine. Maria, he must at least pretend to work with these people. I, I admire the way he feels, but you must convince him he has to compromise. No, Max. Maria, you must. Max, I can't ask Georg to be less than what he is. Then I will talk to him. If these children don't sing in the festival, well, it would be a reflection on Austria, and it wouldn't do me any good. Maria, I always knew you loved us children, but now I know you love Father, too. I do, Lisa. I love him very much. How can you be 
sure. Well, I don't think first of myself anymore. I think first of him. I know how to spend my life. mission in her name. Well? Can't just brush this aside. I admit it would be exciting to have a ship under me again. What I mean is it would be a relief and a comfort to know that you and the children are safe. Please, Maria, help me. Whatever you decide will be my decision. Thank you. 
I know, no, no, thank you. I can't do it. Of course not. We'll have to get out of Austria right away. <laughs> we'll have to leave tonight. Now! No, not without my family. And we can't just pack up and leave. They'll be watching us. We have to have a plan. We need time. Captain, Admiral von Schreiber of the Navy of the Third Reich is here. Good to see you. Thank you, Franz. And give us time. Then we'll make time. I'll see them. We must be very, very careful. What's happening? Stormtroopers. That's what I was afraid of, Maria. Max, you stay with Georg. Lisa, we need to find the children quickly. This way, gentlemen, we can speak in here. Herr Detweiler, may I present to you Admiral von Schreiber. Hey! Max, I believe you know Herr Zeller already. <laughs> Would you gentlemen care to sit down? We're here on business. Captain Von Trapp, a telegram was sent to you three days ago. Yes, I have just now received it. I've been away. I've been home only a half an hour. Captain Von Trapp has just returned from his honeymoon, sir. Ah, congratulations, Captain. Thank you, sir. Your record in the war is very well remembered by us, Captain. It's good to hear you say that, sir. Let's get to the point. If you don't mind, Zeller. In our Navy, we hold you in the highest regard. That explains why I am here. Yeah. Having had no answer to our telegram, the Naval High Command has sent me in person. That is very flattering, Admiral, but I've had no time to consider. I am here to present you with your commission, Captain. I am deeply conscious of the honor, sir, but I have had no time to consider. And your orders are to report immediately to the Naval Base at Bremerhaven. Immediately? Oh, <laughs> I'm afraid that will be impossible for you, Georg. May I present my wife, the Baroness von Trapp, Admiral von Schreiber. Madame. What I meant, sir, is that we are all singing at the Kotzberg Festival on Friday night. <laughs> you see the, uh, the von Trapp family singers here in the program? It's been arranged by the Ministry of Education and Culture. This is Wednesday. That's only a matter of two days. It might be possible you could report to Bremer Heaven on Monday. Admiral, we can. Is there a telephone I can use? This way, Admiral. If there's any question, perhaps adding the weight of my voice. <laughs> It, it gives here only the names of the children. It says the Von Trapp family singers, I am the head of the Von Trapp family. It's hard to believe, Captain. You, singing in a concert. You may believe what you choose. It doesn't say here what you're going to sing. What are you going to sing, Captain? It would be your privilege to attend the concert. I think I'd like to hear you sing now. Sing what you're going to sing at the concert. Sing! Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. Liesl, give us a do. Do, a deer, a female deer. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Uh, a long, long way to run.
and gentlemen, the Von Trapp family singers.
that, that concerns me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the festival concert has come to its conclusion, except, of course, we don't know what the conclusion is going to be. The judges are putting their heads together to arrive at their decision, and while we are waiting, I think there should be an encore. It seems this may be the last opportunity the Von Trapp family will have to sing together for a long, long time. I have just been informed that Captain Von Trapp leaves immediately after the, after the concert for his new command in the naval forces of the Third Reich. A guard of honor has arrived to escort him directly from this hall to the naval base at Bremerhaven. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the family Von Trapp again.
be gone now. How many of them are there? Counted only eight stormtroopers and their officer. Sister Margareta, we had no idea we'd put the Abbey in this danger. This is outrageous. The church has always been a sanctuary. Not with these people. This is the third time they've searched the Abbey. Dina! Margareta! That's why we put you out here in the garden. We always search the inside. Never the outside. Isn't this God's house? Shh. Yes, God. We must all be very quiet. We'll let you know when they've gone. After they leave, can we go home? No, sweetheart, we have a very long drive ahead of us. Lisa, let's stick together. They're gone. Thank God. Reverend Mother, I am sorry to have brought some. Reverend Mother, how can we ever thank you? Once it's safe, we'll start. We've hidden the car deep in the woods. The car will do you no good. They left a guard on the road, outside the gate. I've been listening to the wireless. All the roads are blocked, the border's been closed. Oh, I used to think of these mountains as my friends, standing there protecting us. Now it seems that they've become my enemies. Never your enemies. Haven't you read? I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. I know those mountains as well as I know this garden. And so do you. Once we are over those mountains, we are in Switzerland. But the children. We can help them. Father, we don't need help. But you'll have help. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. And the mountains and hills shall break forth before you. Yeah. 